The medical name is GDV. Basically what happens is a dog, normally a large breed dog, so normally we're talking a, a German Shepherd or a St. Bernard or a Labrador, one of these sort of larger, bigger chested dogs. Most typically it will occur after a dog's eaten a big meal and goes out for a run. Uh, the dog eats, it goes out for a run, the stomach is full of food and water, the dog's running and running and the stomach is moving and moving and eventually the stomach twists the whole way around. Um, and the problem is that the stomach gets cut off both at the front end and the throat and the back end um, and all the blood supply gets choked off as well. So the blood vessels can't get into the stomach and the food can't pass and the stomach slowly gets bigger and bigger and bigger as the food digests and makes gas. The dog will continuously try and vomit. So vomiting, 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 but nothing comes out. If the dog tries to eat or drink anything, the, the stomach's been twisted and so nothing can get down the pipe and it'll come straight back out again. Typically the dog bloats on the left side, so they get this big sort of, the stomach enlarges on the left side and it's, it's like a drum. So if, you, if your dog has a big sort of bloat on the left side and you, you tap it, it sounds like a, a hollow sound inside. If you think your dog may have a bloat, it is absolutely vital to get them to a vet as soon as possible. Bloat is one of the true medical emergencies. The, <clears throat> the worldwide statistics on bloat came out recently. Even with the best possible medical intervention, the chances are at best 50-50 that you'll get, you'll pull through a bloated case. And it's absolutely critical about how quick we get to it. The longer a dog's bloated, the less chance we have uh, because the stomach's been twisted for longer, the, the, there's more damage done, the blood supply's been weakened and the stomach will actually start dying off. Um, if you've had a really big meal, don't go out and go for a big run. You know, it's not dangerous for your dog to have breakfast before he goes out for a walk, but you don't want to eat a huge meal. You probably don't want your dog to eat a huge meal anyway, but you don't want to eat a huge meal and then go out for a big run.